Welcome. Today we'll have a look at what do you need to get access to fluorescence analytics from the company Fluorosat and what our analytics can offer you. So first of all, um, when you're thinking of uh, getting crop analytics, getting agronomic decision support, you need to um, be aware that it's important to um, have field boundaries, uh, to know the planting dates and the crop type. Um, the two and three are optional, whilst uh, having the field boundaries is the only compulsory input to operate the platform. All right, let's dive in and look at a three key areas of application of the platform that can be of interest to you. First, we're going to look um, at the potato farm. Here's the large region in which uh, the potato farms are located, and we uh, have imported the boundaries of these um, areas in the platform, and it automatically collects weather data and satellite imagery to determine the status and the crop um, development speed of the crops. So if we wanted to dive in into one of these pivots and have a look how they are performing, we would have a view of all of our fields stacked next to each other and this product we call it crop performance it allows you to see the status of the crop where is it in its development the speed with which it's developing declining or senescing and its biomass let's have a look for example at one of the crops that we're likely going to want to harvest soon because they're looking like they're senescing let's go into this field what we're able to see is we're diving into this one uh, singular pivot and here we're discovering another product of fluorescence crop stress is the ability to automatically detect areas in the field that are struggling for whatever reason and this can be used as uh, a scouting um, map as a guided for guided scouting and you can see how in season these areas are developing and some of them are shrinking in size, um, highlighting that they're low priority and some of them are increasing in size. These areas oftentimes can be areas where you can find pest, disease and other stresses which are important to outline and find early. Okay, let's have a look at our next product. For example, if you're growing wheat, here's a wheat field. Uh, earlier this season on this wheat field, we needed to apply nitrogen. Nutrient management and uh, nitrogen application recommendations is the strength of the fluorescence platform. And here we see the zoned map of this field with the prescriptions that were generated based on some minimal inputs around the planting depth, um, planting and seeding rates, and uh, the selection of the soil type. And we're able to see that the recommended amount of uh, the fertilizer here um, will be likely resulting in a 17% uh, uplift in the yield and you have all of the powers to be able to adjust the yield goals, the weather outlooks, as well as the pricing of your commodity and input to manipulate this recommendation. Last but not least, if you are a farmer who is looking after tree crops like these olives, you are probably familiar with this imagery and you know how little it probably can tell you about how your fields are doing. But what if this imagery was transformed into a per field view of where each of your trees are, so to speak, an, an audit for you and the ability to see how they are performing, the health indication of each of these trees. Here you can see they're grouped in performance zones and clearly indicate to you how if you would like to manage and find the worst performing trees, say 10% of them, um, you'll be able to see that these 10% are located in this particular areas and uh, not surprisingly sometimes along the borders and the roads, but these are inside are probably needing your attention.